Hello guys, how you doing? So it's me, Di. Um, this is my new Jamaica hat. Um, let me show it to you here real quick. Here's the top of it. Yeah, isn't that cool? You can tell it's like really, it's it's a really tight weave. It's, 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 uh, for when I have bad hair day. Yeah, today's bad hair day. And of course, you all know me and my hair. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get it done again. Next Friday, new do again, new cut, cut and color. Here we go. Okay, so I promised you that um, I would talk about the pouch test. And, oh, before I forget, thanks for all the comments for my cha-cha-cha video when I introduced JoJo. Um, let me tell you, we have been friends since, I have known her since I was like in the 7th or 8th grade, a very long time, being that I am 51 years old, so it's a very long friendship. Um, we've, you know, come in and out of each other's lives over, you know, when Mike and I moved to Dallas, um, in the late 70s. Anyway, we kind of went apart and we were in Dallas, she was in Florida, and then we all ended up back here in Ohio, and so, um, you know, good friends. You pick up where you left off and it's as if you never, ever lost time, ever. And, um, yeah, so she's... She's my best buddy, um, so thank you for um, your welcoming her into our community. Even though Joanne never had weight loss surgery, she um, has been my biggest supporter and has uh, just really been there for me and went to all my doctor's appointments with me and met my surgeon and uh, came and t she took a week off of work and came and took care of me and just you know she's just great so thanks thanks a lot and then Monday um, my other person that I'm bringing with me Nancy um, she is I think four or five years post-op um, I believe don't quote me she has lost I want to say over 200 pounds um, she's a great success and uh, feels feels pretty darn good. So she's never had um, a lot. She's never really joined a support group or anything like that. So this is going to be her first exposure. And she's a little nervous, but I know you guys are going to welcome her with open arms. And um, uh, she just recently lost her husband about three or four four weeks ago at the very most um, actually it was about four weeks ago yeah it was right before I went it was actually his funeral was the day that I went to Jamaica so I was able to at least tend, attend the calling hours for her but um, so when I got back and everything you know of course I can't imagine losing my husband and um, I'm just one of these kind of people. It's like, you know what? You're going with me. You're going with me to Allentown. She's like, well, I can't go and have a good time. I, you know, I'm a great, you know, I says, no, no, you know, you're just going to go. You're just going to go. You're going to, you know, get to meet some great people. Um, you know, the whole nine yards. And I says, no arguing. You're just going to go. You're going to, you need this weekend. It's going to be good for you. So I got her to go. Yep, so she's going to come with us, and that's Nancy. So she's coming over Monday so that um, I can show her some of y'all's videos that are going and um, kind of let her get acquainted with all of you. And I'm going to do a video with her so that I can introduce you to Nancy Bartol. And, um, well, maybe I shouldn't have said her last name. I'm sorry. That's a fake name. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um so yeah, she's she's going to come with me. So that's that. So that's for Monday. Stay tuned. I'll introduce my other person to you. Um I did want to tell you about my pouch test. Um I want to say it was relatively good going. Um I want to say also the first day was a little tough 
only because I just wanted to chew something. You know, I just have been in this kick about snacking and crunching, and I did really well. Um, I did protein shakes, cream of mushroom soup, I made jello, I made pudding, sugar free, um, all that stuff. But I have to say, I did a little cheating. I came home and I ate maybe five or six cashews that evening. I'm just, you know, sometimes why do we do the things we do? It's like we know we're not supposed to, but yet we do it. And that's been, that's just, that's just the story of my life. So I ate some cashews that first day. Then the second day actually seemed a lot easier. But yet again, I'm finding my evenings are my worst enemy when I come home from work. After, you know, I get you. I usually get home between 8 and 9 o'clock in the evening, and it's my downtime, and I unwind. Most of the time I come home, I get on the treadmill if it's not too late, although I'm finding if I get on the treadmill too late, I have a hard time getting my butt to bed because I'm still wound up. So um, I ate some cheese nips. Not very many, just a, just a four or five cheese nips, just a crunch. They're there. I quit buying them. I buy that stuff for my husband, but it's too much temptation for me. I have no willpower. That's why I took surgery, because I have no willpower. Um, I mean, I do, but then I don't. I'm just weak, 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 weak. So the third day was my worst. I got really stressed out. Um... You know, as you know, my husband's still not working, and things got really, really stressful around here. He's absolutely uh, just beside himself, and it's just really, you know, stressful on him and worried. And, and of course, that just reflects down on me. And I had, or no, it was the second day. I'm sorry, I was supposed to be on liquids that day, and I had some cheese, like, sticks, the, the string cheese, I had two of those and a bunch of cheese nips. After that, everything calmed down and I was able to stay on track. I mean, there are small, small episodes of, you know, going off track. After it got all done, and I kind of stayed on it and watched for like six to seven days even, more than five, and I saw that my carb cravings really did go away and my snacking in between really did, uh, s you know, slow down. So that, that was very successful. And um, it triggered some weight loss. So I saw some new numbers on the scale and so I was really excited about that. So I did lose some weight. Um, I haven't, you know what, I'm, I haven't been on the scale as much. I'm not sure if I'm going to do weekly weigh-ins because I just get too frustrated because I just seem to be going up and down, up and down. I don't know what this up and down stuff is. It kind of drives me nuts. So I, I know that I'm losing. I can feel it. I can see it in my clothes. So I'm just not going to get obsessed with these numbers. It's just too much in my brain right now. Um... So I, I did want to tell you about the pouch test. So other than that, that's about it. I've got to go to work now. Um, then I'm going to come home. Actually, it was about 40 degrees here today, and my husband and I were going to take the dogs to the beach, and we were going to take a nice, cool walk by the beach, but we both thought we needed naps. So I decided to make a cup of coffee to wake up and I didn't take the nap but he is so when I get back we're gonna take a walk so I gotta run now and thanks for watching and I will see you guys maybe Monday definitely Monday if not sooner take care love you can't wait to meet and greet yeah Allentown here I come cha cha cha